Whoa, take a look at this little fella. Whoa. Crawling just down there like that. Probably the craziest catch I've ever had. We'll just chuck it over the fire. No way. Look at this, just down here. What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. So as you can see, I'm back out in the Australian rainforest once again. I've started walking up this creek and this right here is where the adventure begins. So pretty much what I've got planned over the next day or two is I'm gonna be coming up this creek, seeing what animals I can catch, catching my own food, building my own shelter and sleeping up here overnight. Now, here in Australia, you might have actually heard, we've had a lot of floods recently. So as you can see, this creek has come way up. It stopped raining a couple days ago, so it's gone back down. So I feel pretty safe, the weather's looking nice. I'm not gonna get trapped up here in a flash flood or anything. But after a big flood like this happens, it brings whole new life into the creek system itself and the rainforest surrounding it. So I'm just gonna start walking up here. I've got no real plan. I need to catch my own food. That's something that I definitely need to do and build my own shelter. So let's start walking up until we can find a good place, gather some resources and get into it. I'm so keen. I've been doing heaps of overnight videos lately because I've just been absolutely frothing it. But let's start walking up the creek, see if we can find any deadly animals to catch. So I've been walking up this creek for a while now and I just spotted a big coastal carpet python sunning itself just on the bank over here. Let's go check it out. Take a look at this little fella just down in front of me here. This, oh, look at that. Oh, that was a close one. Take a look at this little fella. Oh, again, he is aggressive. So this snake's just crawling down to me at the moment. See what he does. Being very still. He's just in the striking position, just in front of my face right now. This could get interesting, but just to show you that these guys don't actually mean us no harm. Look at that. He's decided not to bite me in the face at all and just to keep on cruising up that way over to those rocks. Let's follow him. Take a look at him crawling just down there like that. Wow, what an awesome looking snake. Just doing his own thing, not even worried about me at all. Swimming over to the other side here. Now he's just gonna climb up the bank and go off and do his own thing and we're gonna let him be. So he was a bit aggressive at first, tried to bite me a couple times, but take a look at him now. Absolutely chilling. What an awesome snake, what an awesome species. And I'm absolutely soaked and we only just started walking up the creek. I have to stay up here overnight. And I've just spotted what looks like a great place to set up camp. So I'm gonna let this python be, head over there and start building a shelter. I promised myself that I wouldn't jump in the creek within the first hour of filming and then have to film in wet clothes all day. So as you can see, I've kept that promise very nicely. But I just thought I'd um, talk through a bit of the gear that I'm bringing up the creek today. So I brought my knife up here. This is gonna help me build the shelter and all that kind of stuff. I got a hand reel with one hook on it. I'm gonna have to catch my own bait, hopefully catch something out of this creek and cook it up at our campsite. A flint to start the fire. I've got all my camera gear and all that kind of stuff and that's about it. But just over here, there's a little rock that I'm gonna build my shelter under. So I'm gonna start collecting some resources, get out of this creek and start building the shelter and the fire pit for tonight. And that'll be the entrance. I'll have a stick running up there with all stuff down the sides. Stick that up there.
So we'll just grab all these, bring them back down to the shelter. Threading them through here so that if it rains tonight, I don't get as wet. Just collect some ferns as well. So at the moment, we're just laying all these ferns in there for a bit of bedding so I'm not sleeping right on that rock. She's actually not looking too bad. As you can see behind us right here, I put some ferns down on the bottom as a bit of bedding. Got all of those leaves on top to cover me if it does end up raining tonight. And yeah, it's kind of tucked away under this little rock. There shouldn't be too many snakes coming down here, but it's getting a bit later into the afternoon at the moment. So what I'm gonna do now, build a little fire pit just out the front and then try to catch some food. Actually, I probably shouldn't grab any creek rocks, hey? Whoa. I learned from my mistakes last time. So now that we got all that sorted, what I'm gonna do is I just caught a little shrimp in the creek. I'm gonna chuck it out in the line and hopefully catch some dinner. Yep, there we go. We're onto something here. We're onto an eel. Yes! Take a look at that. If we can get it in, that right there. Oh, that is not only lunch. I'm gonna take this home if I can get it in and use it as shark bait for next week's video. Look at him. Whoa, he is going off. He is definitely still there, but he's under something. I might have to get in there and try get him out. Why am I doing this for an eel? I need to eat. Right, we're going in. Oh! So he's got me under a log at the moment. I'm feeling around with my feet. I'm just waiting to get bitten really. <laughs> but I might have to swim down and try to grab him. So he's got me underneath the log and then he's coming out the other side. I'm gonna take my shirt off and then Try to stick my hand in his mouth and hopefully pull him back out. I think I got him. We got him right there. And take a look at that right there. That was such a wild catch. Probably the craziest catch I've ever had with one of these eels. He had me right down under the log. There was no way of pulling him back up. So I grabbed the main line and then all of a sudden I'm sliding my hand down and I hit this guy's head and I'm like, there is still a chance that we could catch this eel. I say we get this big fella out of the water before he makes another escape and we can't get him. That is so cool. My clothes are absolutely soaked. I'm gonna have to dry them out for when I sleep up the creek tonight. That is gonna be my lunch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna take too much off it. I'm not very keen to eat it. It's probably gonna end up tasting like a rubber tire. So I'll just take a little fillet off of it, cook it over the fire, and then use the rest as shark bait in the following week. Just slice into it like that. Just like that, nice little fillet. Now we'll get the fire going and cook it up. Chuck some more sticks on top of it. So there's our eel fillet. We'll just chuck it over the fire and cook it up. How good is that? I don't know if that's okay to eat. I gotta at least try it. Taste 
tastes so good. So obviously, if I was in a survival situation, would I eat this whole eel? Probably not. I think I'd rather starve than eat this eel. Catch, fill it and release to that one. All the shrimp and catfish and eels will probably eat that. I'm obviously not gonna waste this eel. What I'm gonna do is I've got it in a bag. I'm gonna take it home tomorrow and use it as shark bait. I'd rather eat a rubber tire. But anyways, I mean, what do you do? What I'm gonna do is chill out at camp for a bit, see if we can find any other animals, maybe go for a bit of a walk up the creek. And yeah, I don't have any more plans for the rest of the day, so we'll see what happens. And take a look at this big fella right here. This in front of me is known as the green tree frog, probably the coolest frog species that we have here in Australia. What an awesome little fella. I spotted him. I was sitting over at my shelter and he was just sitting out in the middle of this rock right here. So I was like, I've got to get in the water for it again. I know I only just dried off. So these frogs do have a couple predators that they have to worry about out here. That big carpet python that we caught earlier would definitely make a meal out of this little fella. Birds of prey, foxes, wild cats and dogs. But there are a couple animals out here that have to actually worry about these frogs eating them. And that's things like crickets, spiders, small lizards, sometimes even other frogs. And I've seen photos of these guys making meals of small snakes before, which is absolutely crazy. Oh, don't climb up on me, buddy. Or do, I don't know. I don't really care. Well, didn't expect that to happen. Take a look at that. He's just chilling up on my head right now. <laughs> that is actually a pretty big frog, hey? That is a nice size frog. Oh, there's people watching me. Don't mind me. I'm not doing anything. He doesn't really seem to mind it up there. It's a weird looking hat. Well, that's pretty cool. I think what I'm gonna do now, head back over to my camp, chill out for a bit. I'll probably get this frog off my head. Oh, take a look at that. Just jumping up the bank right there. You go, buddy. All right, it's getting late in the afternoon at the moment. I'm gonna go set up camp, get everything ready, and stay up here overnight. That was so sick. Oh, that was awesome. Right, so it's just gone dark at the moment. I've got this fire going, we're back at camp. I've collected a heap of firewood so it lasts me until the later hours of the night. But what I thought I'd do is leave this fire going, go for a bit of a walk up the creek and see if we can find any deadly animals because I know there's a lot of them hanging around. So let's go. No way. Look at this, just down here. I can't believe I found one. That right there is a bandy bandy. That's a venomous species of snake. This is an extremely hard snake to find because they live most of their life underground and they come out on these warmer nights. Often they're found on roads. And here in Australia, these are unmistakably the only land snake that has this patterns on it. Now, one of the coolest things that I've ever seen with these snakes is what they do when they feel threatened. They'll literally hoop their body up into two massive hoops to make themselves look bigger and their head will actually stay on the ground so that if it's gonna get attacked, it's gonna get attacked on a part of their body that's not as important. Look at that. That is so cool. Literally putting most of its body up into the air. So another really cool thing about these snakes is not only do they not eat too much, the reason being is because they primarily feed on blind snakes, another species of snake that lives underground that these guys will actually prey on. And those blind snakes only feed on ant larvae. What a cool snake. That is actually so awesome that we got to get a bandy bandy up close to the camera. He's literally just got a leaf stuck on his head. He's like, what is going on here? There we go. So we're gonna let this little fella go, head back to camp, but how cool is that? It has been such a cool day so far. Still got the fire going. I'm back at camp, just chilling in my little hut that I built earlier. I think I'll see you guys tomorrow morning if I don't get bitten by any snakes or anything. And I got some cool things planned for tomorrow night. So it's day two, I just woke up, but what a cool adventure that was, honestly. I think I'm gonna pack everything up and go home now. But finding all those animals, catching my own food, and not eating it. <laughs> this was so last minute, but it turned out to be such a cool adventure, making this little shelter. So after I found that bandy bandy last night and came back to camp, it took me so long to get to sleep. 
But once I was asleep, I only woke up like 32 times during the night because my back was sore. And later on tonight, I'm going to be going down to the ocean with my mate, hopefully doing some night snorkeling, seeing if we can catch anything and maybe even finding some sharks as well. So I think that's going to be in next week's video. So stay tuned, like and subscribe if you want to see that. It's all of your support that's making me want to go out and film videos like this. So I appreciate that. Go chuck us a follow on Instagram if you like this kind of stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys again in the next adventure, next Saturday.